Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Cleveland Guardians. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. So the New York Yankees are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And starting in this one, Tanner Bybee. Chris, a sub-3 ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. And the right hater deals. That one fouled off. Righty delivers. And that's outside. Now two and two. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the pitch. That misses the zone. Three and two now. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Gloria makes the grab one away. Got Soto down. And the first pitch misses for ball one. By the he has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds yeah, himself ball, in. Strike. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. And that one hammered back there. And gone! Juan Soto goes deep. His second homer of this series, and that gives him the lead. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. No, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Aaron ball. Judge in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And Judge spoils that one. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Most hitters dream of being able to hit breaking pitches as well as this guy. It takes great bat-to-ball skills to be able to be as good as he is against the junk pitches he faces. Hey. Torres, batting with one down, takes a strike. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. And that one fouled off. Traffic on the bases with one already in. Here in the third and final game of the series. One ball. 
In the dirt, no movement on the bases. One and two to count. Two on, one out. That oh, one misses. And the count's even at two. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. It's their second home run of the inning, and they throw three on the board. It's 4-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Jose Trevino, still hitless in the series. And look out, that one almost got him. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. That one finds the zone. One ball, one and two. Two strikes. Four runs already in the frame, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Two, two, the Not even close there, and the count is two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Back up the middle and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in that's the center the field. And ball one. I got a ball, one strike. Swing and bless one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but he hooks foul. The one, two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Trevino over at first with one away. Just off the inside edge. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now it's D.J. LeMayhew digging in. Two for nine so far in the series. Late on that fastball. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Two outs. One ball. Two straight. On the ground right side. They get the force. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now at Progressive Field. And towing the slab, Garrett Cole. Singy, he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. Hey. I'm excited for this one. Bottom of the first, stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. Going to now. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no one answer one. for it. In the dirt, and that's ball one. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball. One out, base is empty. 
Might want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Three. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, Double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The why to kick the pitch. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Here in Cleveland, digging in, Anthony Volpe. Bybee, back to work. And a swing and a miss. Volpe, oh, one, the right former down. Gold Glove winner, hitting ninth in today's lineup. A former first-round pick back in 2019. Hey. And a swing and a miss. No ball, well, he's strike. been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get the two strikes. Oh, the shortstop takes a ball. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. One out in second. Here's Alex Verdugo. He's over one. Now this is in the air down the line. Quad heads after it. He's got it. And there's two away. Two outs. Space is empty. Now it's the right fielder. Juan Soto. Hammers that one. Curling down the line. And foul. Pitch misses there, and one and one. And that's outside. Two out spaces empty. And a big swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Swings and misses struck him out. So the Yanks. And now, David Fry and a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Ah. A little out front there as he swings through oh, it. Count. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. pitch Three. swing and a miss and he's down on strikes looks like he's picked up right where he left off wow just great bite to that slider broke hard out of the zone and he just couldn't hold up the swing you know as a hitter that pitch is really hard to take and there's just not much you can do with it you know that but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire stays alive the Yankees leading by four, bottom half of inning number two. One down, base is empty. And down on strikes. And there is another strikeout. And now, Gabriel Arias. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look hey. like it's a fun at bat. And all of a oh, sudden, dude. you become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikes. Three. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And here is Aaron Judge. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. He swings and fouls one off. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need oh, to get some cool. quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Righty to the plate. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. 
doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Quan snags it, and there's one away. Glaber Torres up to the plate. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Up next. Here's Stanton now. He's already homered here in this one. There's the swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Late with the swing there. He was really trying to stay ball, back for something strikes. off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and ball very ball, difficult no to play. lay off. Trevino at the plate and takes high there. And a swing and a miss there. One Instead one. of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The 1-1. One, one. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Threw open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him. For Here's Andres Jimenez. Cole back to work. Pass ball for a strike. Going one. And downstairs. The wind and the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Judge getting an angle on it. Puts it away for the out. Now it's the rookie first baseman. And a foul ball. The Guardians down by four here in the last half of the third. Foul ball. swinging quite the start to this game on the mound looking very dangerous to these hitters seven punch outs already so hey. this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out I'm impressed with what we're seeing here two outs out towards left center Verdugo gets under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that's. The and here is Anthony Rizzo. Struck out swinging his first time. And it's fouled away. All right, Siggy, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first ball, triple in right. the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but one ball, first homer for Cleveland. Oh, give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude, Eddie Murray, no doubt. <laughs> Bam! Down and in, moved his feet. Hey, Missing four. inside, and it's three and two. Stop. That's ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Out towards right center field. Strong puts it away, and there's one down. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10 inning walk off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. Hey. 
Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Oh, Movement in the bullpen. Xavier Curry appears to be getting loose. Foul ball still 0-2. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, hey. looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would Count convert one, into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Next pitch off the play, two and zero. Oh. That one ripped right center field. Straw ranging back. That one is gone. His second home run of the series. It's six nothing. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Manager out of the dugout now, and it Xavier Curry on the pitch here. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Here's Juan Soto. Now fly ball to right center. Nabs it, and that is that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a 6-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. So, man aboard, and here is Miles oh, Straw. Damn. First pitch misses. You know, these Guardians just lacking hey. discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Yeah, so ball many of their right. outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Man at first, Jose Ramirez. Now at the plate. Ah. That's a slider for a strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around third, the relay, safe. Everything came together for him. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over. Absolutely smoked that ball. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And it's second with one away. David Fry will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Fights it off. He'll see another. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball. And the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Runner at second here. One gone. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely Whoa. and just bunched him up on Maybe the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. It's Aaron Judge now. One for two. The wind of the pitch. Crushed to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. A 
massive home run. His fourth home run of the season. It's 7-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Here comes Glaber Torres. Curry, a six foot righty, 195 pounds, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2019. Strike two. Quickly in an 0 2 count, no you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And he can't make the play. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. One on, nobody out, a run in. And we're at the top of the fifth. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. There's one. On the first double play. Great job on the mound of building his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often, we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. Two down, nobody on. Fly ball to right. Should have this one. And that is that. Solo shot from Aaron Judge for the Yanks. It's now 7-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. So digging in, Gabriel Arias. And there's a foul ball. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think hey, keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too oh, fine and have right. too much finesse Go after hitters and get out. quick outs. Just off the outside edge, and the count is one and two. This one in the air. Gets under it. And it's caught for the out. That was a good, oh, hard fastball with some nice ride baby. up in the zone oh, right great, there. Great. Hitter looked like he was no, on no, it, no. but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. I got a ball, one strike. The 1 1. Ah. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the one zone. Ball, two strikes. Ah. Goes down looking. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. The one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Hard hit, right side. Three up, three down, inning over. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Curry back to work. Hey. On the corner for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Hey. And he chases a high fastball there. Do that oh, fastball dude. right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. 
in there for strike one. Oh and one. Swing and a miss. I think no he was ball, sitting off speed strikes. there. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Out to center. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch in and over. So they make sure. And now it's Esteban Florio. And that one is in for a strike. Oh, it really looks count. like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good yeah. fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Popped up. Torres settles under this one. He's there. He's got it. And a quick out number one. And up next for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Swings through that one out in front that time. In the air right side. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. So in now for Cleveland, Miles Straw. And the pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And nope. the slider just misses. Three. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one. -two. And now here is Alex Verdugo. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Tie a guy oh, up like that. You're feeling like you are in command. Big foot slider ties him up, struck him out. And now it's Juan Soto. One for three. And there's the strike. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. Ripped on the ground a second. Jimenez He's throw to first. And two away to start the seven. The two seven outs, base is empty. Nine, nine. Aaron Judge Aaron. at the plate. Judge. Ripped towards third. Ramirez Got sends it. it to first. Judge out on the floor. Here's Jose Ramirez. And he deals. Just nope. missed. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a Aye. challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. That one to first. And he takes it oh. himself for the out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, David Fry. That hey. one at the knees for a strike. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. On the ground, out to short. To first, oh. two up, two down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Naylor stands in now and watches strike one. The Yanks up big in this one here in the third and final game of the series. Robert to right field with a hand That was blasted to the moon. It's 7-2. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth.
take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, Bird. He squared it up and knew it was gone. So two away with nobody on. Gabriel Arias digs in for the Guardians. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know hey, you yeah. want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. No but you got to give strike. some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. The 0-2. Out to short. Volpe. On to first. That's the third out. Inning over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's 7 2. You're dialed into the show. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Eli Morgan. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Jimenez, throw to first. One up, one down. Now here's Giancarlo now, now, Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one misses. 1-0. and Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Nick Sandlin getting loose out there. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. Well, pop in that bat had the distance for the off ball home run, but many times you have that slice going to the opposite field, and he just couldn't keep that one fair. One ball, two straight. And ball another three. ball. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for New York, Jose Trevino. Ball one, one, no strikes. Morgan, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2017. The other way. Brings it in, and that is that. Stepping up for the Guardians, Andres Jimenez. There's a strike. Cole still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Deal two. Good job to fight that one off. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys put a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Got him looking. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. And now the first baseman. That pitch in for a strike. Going one. Next offering is in for a strike. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Volpe throws to first in time. Two up, two down. Esteban Florial digs in for the Guardians. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a foul ball. Next nope, pitch just ball. misses. It's a ball, ball and two, two strikes. strikes. Center field. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Scott Barlow. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there. Left-hand batter waits. 
One ball. Chase that time. The punch out there. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now it's hey. LeMahieu up to him. Aaron Boone making the move for a new bat. Jason Dominguez. One out, the base is empty for him. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. one. Hard hit, left side. Zips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. And now Anthony Volpe. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, well, that's that slope the right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And it drops in. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the ball shortstop, ball but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. The 1-0. And oh, another right ball. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So. I think the confidence level is raised right here. High fly ball out into left center field. Quan settles underneath it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. No runs. Now into the game, Oswald Peraza. He's the new third baseman. Quan leading things off and takes a strike. 0-1. Kicks and fires. Just misses with that one. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one two. And that one in the air center field. Judge makes the play. And there's one away. Here's the center fielder, Miles Straw. And first offering is fouled off. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. No play. That's an infield single. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Strike in the outside corner. And it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now only one out remaining. Last out for the Guardians in this one. Next is the designated hitter, David Fry. The Yankees leading by five here in the last half of inning number nine. And that is the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game with jam here and jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. 7 2 your final here today. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.